Hey everybody, thanks for watching. As the title suggests, I just got back from NAB in Las Vegas and on the evenings I would walk around and take photos with the camera of just street life and just random stuff. So I thought it would be fun to make a short video reviewing some of the images and some of the takeaways that I got uh, while I carried around the camera with me. Um, first off, shout out to Peak Designs right there for this bag. Um, this was a real, it's becoming a bag, it's growing on me. At first I didn't like it, it felt a little too big just for my X100, but it actually gives me a lot of space and I I can use it and I don't have to use it, but I, you can look forward to a bag review coming out soon. Uh, right now I'm talking about the X100 teleconversion lens. Basically it's going to increase your field of view uh, to what is equivalent to a 50 millimeter um, lens. Uh, this was shot without the teleconverter. It's on the fixed 23 millimeter lens. You can see it's pretty wide right there. So I popped on that 50 milli millimeter teleconverter and then take, took the shot. And this looks much better to, uh, to me. So one thing that I like about the teleconversion lens is that usually I'll use it for portraits, but there is the occasion that I want to just push in just a hair more. And this is a great example of um, that. And so this shot I don't think would be the same without having just that slightly further reach that that 50 millimeter teleconverter uh, provides. Shout out to Drew Bernard for walking around the streets with me and taking some b-roll for this video. Go check out his website, I'll link below. So this is one of my favorite images I took that week. I really like the contrast between um, you know, the Vegas streets and then just a, a small child be on his uh, dad's shoulders. Uh, by the way, the, one of the things I want to talk about is high ISOs. You can see right here at 2000 ISO, the image does not really suffer. Um, I shot that at on with classic Chrome uh, JPEG settings and I love the old look. And you can see right here, even at 5000 ISO with the Acros uh, mode, the, the image doesn't really suffer. I mean, you, yes, it is grainy, but to me that adds some aesthetic value, some some flavor to the image that doesn't really bother me. Um, you know, in an ideal world, it would be nice if we could just provide all the external light that we want, but a lot of the times you just gotta use the light that you get, especially for any kind of street photography. Um, not that I consider myself a street photographer, um, but I, I do like the challenge of working with just available light. And you know, it's better in some places and worse in others, but fortunately, if you have, a, you know, cameras today can handle all sorts of lighting conditions, and the Fujifilm X100F um, is no uh, exception. You can see right there, that was shot at 1600 ISO. I was inside in a poorly lit environment, but still the image to me looks completely usable. So on this image coming up, you can see um, that at 5000 ISO, you can noticeably tell a negative effect uh, of shooting at such high ISO ranges. Um, and when I shot in Acros or when I shoot in black and white, it's not as big a deal because I can't see the noise. But when you shoot in color, it seems to be a little bit more noticeable. You can see right here I shot at 3200 ISO and it's not as big of a deal. The next image I shot at even lower at 800 ISO and it looks completely fine. So I shot this in Velvia Vivid. I l absolutely love the colors here. Even though I shot at 2500 ISO, I was inside the casino, kind of poor lighting. But man, those colors pop. If I know I'm going to be shooting like a sunset or something with lots of colors that could be saturated and I want to emphasize that, I'll shoot in Velvia Vivid. Boring shot, but a good restaurant. Next photo. Yeah, so shout out to the music bed. This was taken uh, at their party, or at least right outside the elevator leading into their party. So if you need music, go check out the music bed. So check this out, ISO 100 shot at night. You can tell the difference, can't you? Um, when you're shooting at low ISOs, there is very little noise. I'll zoom in right here and you can see the clarity in this image. And I will say, shooting at low ISOs at night looks really good if you're able to get a low shutter and a big aperture. So this is one of my favorite shots. Uh, I took it at a sushi bar and notice that I did this with the teleconverter. Because this next image I shot without the teleconverter, but I was standing in the same place. Um, so right now I'm going to overlay the image that I just showed you, just so you can see the difference in the reach that you get with that 50mm uh, teleconverter. It's pretty nice, and it enabled me to get the shot that I wanted here without being noticed by the people at the sushi bar. 
So these next few images I think are good examples of what you can expect as far as dynamic range goes with the X100F camera. This image on the left is straight out of camera, haven't touched it, uh, and then the one on the right is after post-processing the raw file. So I shot this, uh, it's about midday, just wanted to see how I would expose the same image, uh, but at different times of the day. So the one on the left, you see 200 ISO, and then this one uh, that's zooming in here is 2000. And even when I zoom in, you can see in the black areas, uh, there is some noise, but keep in mind, I am zooming in around 300%, and to me, it's just not that big of a deal. So at one uh, point during our week at NAB, Drew and I made our way out to one of the parks surrounding Vegas. I think this is like Fire Canyon Valley or something. I can't, I'm not for sure what it was called. Anyway, it was a great opportunity for me to practice some landscape photography uh, in the always fun midday sunlight. Uh, lots of harsh shadows, so um, uh, I spent a lot of time playing with different apertures. Um, you can see on the right, F16, what some people call a storytelling aperture. You have everything in focus. That uh, oval there that you see, that circle on the ground, is where I set the focus on both images. And so you can see the one on the left, I shot at F2. Only that little section of sand uh, is in focus, and it's a lot more shallow depth of field. And if you just look at the two images, they're two very different pictures. Um, neither of them is right or wrong, but visually they both have two separate goals. Next few images, you know, I, I, I shot around the 6.4 uh, range. F4 is my favorite place to shoot with this, with the fixed 35mm lens, um, and I absolutely love it. I think it's super sharp, but also provides a little bit of depth of field. And again, I'm zooming way, way, way in here on this image, just to show you the quality that you're getting from this camera and this sensor. So those are some of my favorite photos I took last week at NAB. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will leave a comment if you like or don't like or have suggestions or critiques or whatever. Just leave a comment below, let me know, and I'll get back with you. Uh, something exciting I have coming up, I have a three-week trip uh, to Japan where I'm only taking my X100F. I will be documenting the whole thing, uh, and I can't wait to show that to you guys. So if you like this type of stuff, please like my channel and subscribe to it or like the video and subscribe to the channel I guess um, and if you want to see more photos from the X100F and from myself please follow me on Instagram at X100FAN thanks so much have a great day